Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie Burton and I work in the hairdressing department in Inverness College, UHI. And I'm joined today by Dawn Rooks and Laura Wilson, who I was teaching um, within the SPQ2 hairdressing course that they were on um, last year with myself and the other lecturers. So I'd like to just start by asking them um, how they are. How are you both? Good, thank you. Good, thank yeah. you. Excellent. It's lovely yeah. to see you and thank you for joining me today. OK, so you were both students of mine within the SVQP programme and we did a lot of cutting, colouring, setting and styling together, along with other lecturers as well. And um, I'd just like to ask you, so that was the SVQ2 course. So since then, um, how have you been progressing and where are you at just now? And also, first of all, what first attracted you to the SVQ2 course? Dawn, what first attracted you to that? Well, I had I'd heard that, that it had been running at the UHI. Um, and I was really looking for a change of career because I was a nursery teacher. But I was finding I just I just felt the need to be doing something more creative. And, you know, when you go into hairdressing, you usually have been fiddling about with your friend's hairs, doing things, even if it's updos and things like that. And had some really supportive friends that were saying, like, you should go for this. So I went online and looked at what was on offer. And it just, I, it was one, because I'm older. <laughs> so I was thinking, well, could I do this change? And it just seemed like, well, let's go and talk on one of the open evenings. Uh, so that's what I actually did. And uh, then I met. To Roz and mm -hmm. had a chat and it, it, everyone was just so supportive nobody made me feel that just because I was the age I am that I couldn't go for it which was wonderful because I kind of felt like it might just be people that are in their 20s doing this so that, that's really good to hear that's really excellent excellent news so you felt quite, quite a positive experience from the open evening moving forward mm, definitely yeah, yeah it was really very good that's great. And Laura, what about yourself? What attracted you to the course in the beginning? Um, I've always really been interested in doing hairdressing and it just happened to fall at a time where I've been re made redundant from my job. Oh. So I was looking into um, career options and I wanted something that could be um, a forever career. And because I was interested, I had a look online and um, decided that hairdressing was definitely the route I wanted to go down and so like Dawn I applied for it and at the interview stage it was just amazing speaking to Roz and Lorna. Excellent oh that's that's really good to hear really good and so from the SVQ2 course what did you really enjoy the most from the course so Laura what was your favourite aspect within the hairdressing course on SVQ2? I actually really loved the colouring side of it. Um, there was just so many different techniques to learn. And also you had a, a wide knowledge of different lectures that would dip in and teach you something different each time. It was just brilliant. I loved colouring. Oh, that's really great to hear. Dawn, what about yourself? Well, I'd probably be down the cutting route. Um... Yeah, I really, I really enjoy learning like the fundamentals of the cutting. So that kind of gave me confidence to just like, it's almost like recipes and patterns. You start to learn the drill. So then that gives you confidence when you're approaching a new head of hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it, it's a quite a rounded course. I really like the creative stuff as well we were doing. That sounds really, really good. Excellent. And the aspects from the SVQ2 course, that you gained the knowledge from there. How is that helping you now? So Dawn, what have you taken from SPQ2 into where you're at at the minute? Um, well, yeah, definitely going back to the fundamentals, because like we, when you go into level three, you're learning more about creative cutting and you need to know how to create the shapes in the first place. And then, then you can break some of the rules and then, but effectively, you know that you're not going to go too off kilter. You are actually you've, you've got a plan in mind. So it's it's kind of just the development, getting the confidence in your abilities then leads you to be more confident and creative when you're, you're doing that. So um, it's definitely helped me have much more confidence when I'm approaching clients uh, just to 
to go in there because it's quite a big thing isn't it actually mm -hmm. when you're when you're taking scissors or brushes to people's heads you can really change their appearance so yeah definitely and within your the course that you're on just now dawn or well, both of you are the spq3 and then you did a competition um and there was a lot of setting involved in that was there did any of that come from your spq2 as well so setting mm -hmm. and styling within there yeah dawn because i think you well both of Sorry. you had a comp competition <laughs> didn't you so yeah yeah so it, it was run on in instagram because normally the college would do a, a lovely fashion uh, show with the hair and there's an awful lot of setting involved so yeah definitely the fundamentals and um from the principles that we learned in level two of yourself lizzie um mm -hmm we were then just trying non-conventional means of setting so that might involve uh using chopsticks and straws just to get different textures which was i mean really fun i mean it's not the thing you can do all the time but it's so it's so sung to my kind of like arty side because we so if anybody's interested it's it's on instagram uhi level free hairdressing we can go and look and see what we yeah. were up to we yeah, had fun and we, yeah. we had to think outside the box because of COVID, sadly. So we couldn't have, we, could, we couldn't even really do the makeup. So we really had to try and make sure the hair spoke for itself. And uh, it was good to be able to still do it. And it would have been a shame if we couldn't have. So what about yeah. yourself, Laura? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So Laura and yourself, um, the aspects from SVQ2, what do you feel have um, helped you the most in what you're doing right now with the SVQ3 and, on, and others? Oh, wow. SVQ2 just gives you like the, the ground knowledge, the basic building blocks of it all. And it gives you a little bit of confidence as well. So you need that confidence and you just take that through. So everything you learn from the basics of drying hair, styling hair to, um, you know, setting it to cutting all the basics, you, you need them to follow it through into the next level. And then you're just building confidence and building that technique on that. Yeah, excellent. It's, it's a really good progression, isn't it, from the SVQ2? Well, even from before that, we have the intro course and then we have SVQ2 and then going on to SVQ3. So you're both in SVQ3 at the minute. And are you doing anything else outside of that as well? What are you building on uh, your own clientele? What's where are you going? What's your future plans as well? Basically, Dawn, what's your future plan? Well, I definitely it's it's reinforced to me that I'm hairdressing is for me. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it um, because of because of COVID. It's it's been a little bit more less straightforward than it might have been so i've ha had to adapt um uh there was a, a very supportive person that gave me a few things that i could like put so i could put uh you know some uh, a, a good chair is i would say a wonderful and essential thing for you start to appreciate getting your client in a good position um so i'm tr i'm uh, my aim is to be a mobile hairdresser but i still want to have i've got a little a little uh, studio outside that I'm sort of developing so cool. so that I can bring people there if they prefer that but I'm very I live in a Glen and it's it's very difficult for people sometimes to get out and about so I'm really looking to uh, support my community with that and be getting out there and, and making their lives you know it's just such a nice thing when you get your hair done sometimes it gives you a whole spirit of lift so that's what uh, and it's that makes you feel nice making people feel like that so that's what I'm um, I'm, I'm developing it's I've even got a, a name for my business it's Dawn to yeah. Dusk Hair yeah. love it that's amazing <laughs> I love that good, good name good name exciting can't wait to see some pictures of your salon and, and um, hear about all your plans and Laura what's your plans what, what uh, would you like to do I know you're on their level three at the minute and are you enjoying that the yeah, level, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, obviously with um, COVID being there as well, we've had to adapt in our learning skills and techniques. But um, yeah, it's been really good. And after the course, I'm looking at actually going freelance like Don's as well. Um, and outside of that, I've already been doing um, 
getting clients in that I would be to college as well. Oh wow! So you can get some of your clients into college and yeah, uh, yeah. That's because a, I don't have a premises at the moment. So. Yeah, that's amazing because then you can hopefully you can be doing your assessments with them and um getting helping you to get fulfill your your course unit um on color and cutting and stuff like that that sounds amazing so you've both got some really exciting plans i can't wait to see and hear all about it all so laura for a potential student for somebody who is thinking about coming on to an sbq2 course or any hairdressing course within the uhi what would you what advice would you give them to go in with an open mind and um just remember your enthusiasm and everyone has different starting points as well. So you could be someone that has no background to hairdressing or someone with a little bit of background, but to go in with an open mind. That's such good advice. I really like that. Thank you, Laura. Dawn, what about yourself? What advice would you give for potential students or anyone that was thinking about hairdressing career with UHI? Well, first, if you're thinking about it, then make an inquiry because you know the team at the college are very good at talking to you and if, if you've got anything you're concerned about or not sure about that they, they tell you and then you can kind of helps you to gauge whether it's for you and and secondly that you get out of things what you put into them so if you do want to do it go go in work hard and if if you if you want it, it will happen for you. So keep pushing and keep working, working when you get in there, and you'll you'll have lots of opportunities to learn. That's that's amazing advice. Thank you, thank you so much to both of you. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to Dawn and Laura for coming on today, and a huge good luck um, for your future careers. And from everyone at UHI, um, we'll be thinking of you. And please keep in touch with us and keep us posted on how you're getting on. Okay, thank you so much. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Lovely to see you too. See ya.